Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be doing a review on the BioLite Camp Stove 2 and it's uh, the, all of its accessories. So I've got the, the grill accessory and also the kettle and all of that fun stuff. So we're going to be going over all the specs and the uses for and my opinions of all of that stuff today. I also did videos where I cooked a steak with it, where I boiled a full kettle of water with it and uh, how long it takes to charge the internal battery on the BioLite Camp Stove 2 and all the wood that I used in three other videos that I will put links to above and at the end of this video so you can check those out if you're so inclined. Um, for now, why don't we just jump right into the unboxing and then I'll start getting into the features and the things that I liked and didn't like about this cool little stove right now. Okay, so opening up the box here, we're gonna have our little BioLite starter kit here. We have the LED light and also some fire starter briquettes. And you're also gonna have the kettle right here. And inside of the kettle is going to be a little bowl there, a little cup. And you're also going to have the BioLite itself inside of a stuff pack. So it's got the, the actual generator there and then also your fire chamber down below. And below that we're going to have the camp stove grill right here. You just pop open the legs and put that right on top of the camp stove and you're good to go. All these parts do come out so you can clean them all individually, which is great. And now we're just going to kind of move the box out of the way here and kind of set all this stuff up so you can kind of see it all side by side. And that is the whole kit. Okay, so now that we've done the unboxing and we know what's in the kit here, we're gonna talk about the unit itself. So the BioLite 2 camp stove is basically a thermoelectric generator using a principle known as the Seebeck effect to where the heat that's generated within the fire chamber is transferred down a conductor and then hits a heat sink and that's gonna convert that difference, that differential in uh, heat and cold into energy to use to charge your devices, which is very, very cool. And so the heat that this guy generates with a fire going inside, and it will automatically kick on once it detects heat, which is pretty cool, has enough power to run a fan in there that has multi-variable speeds on it. So you can go from 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Um, and it has enough energy to run that fan to create the swirling air effect that's gonna make a completely smokeless fire. Also, it has enough energy to charge the 2600 milliamp internal battery inside the BioLite so you can use it to charge devices later when you're done with the fire, which is a great upgrade from the BioLite one. It, and it can also charge your smart device. Uh, so if you have cell phones or GPS or anything that runs off a five volt uh, charging bank, you can go ahead and charge that as well. Granted, when you have it running, if you're charging your phone, it's gonna charge the battery really slow because it's pouring most of its energy into your phone. But in my experience, it was able to charge the battery very slowly as well while it was charging the phone. So that's super duper cool. Um, we're gonna get into backpacking real quick just because that's everybody's number one complaint is the weight on this guy for backpacking. And we're talking pretty heavy duty backpack stuff where every single little ounce matters. Um, and you're hiking the Appalachian Trail for weeks or months, then th this probably isn't what you're gonna wanna take on that. It comes in at 2.5 pounds for the BioLite and burn chamber. And if you add the kettle to it, that's another pound. So three and a half pounds, not a big deal for me. I'm a big guy, but I'm not hiking the Appalachian Trail. I'm gonna be using this primarily for car camping, or if you wanted to use it on a day hike where you're going up for about six or eight hours, and then you're gonna stay up there for the weekend, I'd take it, absolutely. I think it's a ton of fun to use. I've been loving this guy, and I'm trying to find excuses to use it for just about everything because it's so fun to use. Um, it's got the three displays on front. It has three LED displays on the left. You're gonna have the fire temperature, and you want that pretty much as high as you can get it to get the most charging effect. In the middle, you're gonna have your fan speed. So it has LEDs all the way up to 100%. And on the right, it's gonna have the internal battery charge for that 2600 milliamp battery that's inside and that will charge all the way up as well. And so it has those three indicators for you, which is great. You can also charge this guy at home using a micro USB on the bottom so that you have a full charge when you get out there. So you can kind of jumpstart that process, which is pretty sweet. Um, I do videos on you know cooking steaks with it, boiling water, and also how long it takes to charge the internal battery from zero and how much wood it took. If you're interested in those videos, I'll put links up above. I believe I mentioned that already. Um, so for Really heavy duty backpacking, maybe not for you, but for everything I use it for, I think it's great. And I'll go over a few scenarios that I think this would be really, really handy to have. Um, so first of all, it's gonna give you pretty much endless energy if you're anywhere near fuel sources, which usually you are. Unless you're in the middle of the desert and there's not a scrap of wood around, there's probably gonna be some fuel sources around. Most of, most of us are camping in wooded locations. 
Now, a benefit to this is, you know, I love solar. You guys know I love solar and I love battery banks. I love all that good stuff. But if you're in a rainy location or a cloudy location, solar is useless to you. And battery banks, you know, are great. They'll charge your device a couple of times, but after that, they're done. And there's no way to charge them back up. So this is gonna be pretty much an endless supply as long as you have biomass to put in there to burn, which I really like. So for example, if you have an off-grid cabin that's off in the wood, like a hunting cabin, this would be a really cool thing to have out of that hunting cabin because you're always gonna be able to charge your devices. And as far as devices go, people are saying, you know, well, I don't like taking a cell phone with me camping because it defeats the purpose. I want to get away from everything. Cool, me too. But emergencies happen. And so being able to charge your cell phone as many times as you want, looking for help or anything like that, I think is very valuable. But also, uh, let's not forget about rechargeable headlamps that charge off USB, flashlights, GPS, walkie-talkies, all these things they have now that you can charge off a USB port. So... You can have all camera gear as well. I charge a lot of my camera gear using USB. And so now I can do that just by having a fire going and I never have to worry about bringing extra batteries or any of that stuff. If we're gonna be camping that night, you have a fire, you can charge your stuff. Although it takes a while, it'll charge them. It's not a fast charger, you know, like on my Galaxy S9 Plus, fast charger, you know, will charge it up in like an hour and a half from dead. And the, if you have a slow charger, slow USB, that's not fast charger, enabled then it takes like three hours so you know you're going to be sitting there with that fire for a while but like i say it's just fun to warm your hands and drop sticks into that guy and it'll charge whatever you got with i believe i think it's three watts of power there so it, it's really cool and i've been having a lot of fun with it and also if you have it uh in the back of your car or anything like that uh it fits inside this nice little stuff sack it's really small inside it fits inside the kettle pot and uh, you could use that to boil snow if you're ever stuck in a snowstorm, you know, up in the forest or anything like that. Um, you could boil endless amounts of water with this guy, which is very cool. And you can also use the kettle pot for, uh, base, you know, a pot. You can use it to boil water. You could also use it to cook eggs. You could use it to cook food, soups, blah, blah, blah. Um, definitely multi-purpose. And the cool thing about it is, and I'll show you really fast. Uh, this is the second take on this video, so we're going to go in reverse. This is the actual battery unit right here, the thermo generator, and this is the burn chamber. This fits inside the burn chamber, and the burn chamber fits inside, oops, if you do all the legs completely closed, fits inside of your, your kettle pot right here, and the lid goes right on top of there, snaps closed, and here you go. It's all contained within this little guy, and I even have the stuff sack here. Maybe I can get this done without killing too much time. Squeeze this guy inside of the stuff sack. Come on. And then close that up with the drawstring. And this just sits inside your car and it's really multi-purpose. So this is a really cool piece of survival gear, uh, survival gear. Uh, maybe on the back of your snowmobile if you're gonna be out there and around it and keep you warm. And I think it'd do a pretty good job of burning some wet wood as well once you got it going because as we all know, you add that air, that swirling air, it makes the, higher, the fire very hot. And that's gonna burn just about anything you need once you get it going. Um, it does come with little uh, burn fire starters, but I've never used them. I just get a really small piece of kindling, put it in there uh, with the flame going up, and then I just start adding small sticks and you're off to the races. So I've been having a ton of fun with it like that. And also, uh, for example, one time I was at my buddy's house and uh, we were in the garage and I wanted to, uh, my phone was dying at 10%. We're using it with uh, Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on for music. And so I plugged it in and we just had the fire inside of his garage because it burns completely smokeless, which is very, very cool. And uh, so it didn't smoke up the garage and it, even my display was on, the music was playing, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and we used it for two hours, I think an hour and 35 minutes. And at the end of that time, my phone had gone from 10% to 26% with the display on and all that other stuff going. That's so cool. We just sat there and occasionally fed some sticks into it while we did our projects in the garage and it worked. It just kept the, kept the party going. So I thought that was really, really neat. Um, will you use it in a garage to charge your phone while listening to I'm a Man? Maybe. I did, it was a lot of fun. Um, so I've been absolutely loving this guy and it's done well with everything that I've put it through and I think I'm definitely gonna have 
this guy in the RV or Jeep whenever I go camping just because it's a ton of fun. And if the world ever ends or anything like that, you're gonna have an endless form of energy, uh, even on cloudy, cloudy days or anything like that. And also for you survivalists out there that are really preparing for the end of the world stuff, you also know that you don't want a lot of smoke coming out of your survival campfire because people can see it and are attracted to you. This guy burns smokeless, so you can use it to cook, boil water, heat your hands, charge your GPS or your headlamp, and there's gonna be no smoke. So for, the, your, for you survivalists out there, that's a very cool thing that you might not have thought of. Um, and I think that pretty much wraps it up for all the fun stuff that I wanted to talk about. I've really loved using it. If you wanna check these out and all their other cool stuff, uh, I'll put a link down below that'll take you over to the BioLite website. And if you decide to buy anything, they'll give you 10% off your first purchase, which was very nice of them. Um, I bought this unit with my own money, but uh, the 10% might help you out. So that's really cool. And they have a lot of other cool stuff like fire pits and stuff that I can't wait to get my hands on because I've really loved playing with this guy. So up to you. If you want to check it out and this seems like something that you might be into, click the link, check it out. And I hope this video was helpful in some way to you. If it was, please like, share, subscribe. And until the next time, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Thanks so much for watching and happy camping.